at the House of Representative Committee in Women Affairs and Social Development has expressed readiness and promise to improve the lives of Nigerian women in fulfillment of the renewed hope agenda of the Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration. The promise was made by the Chairman House Committee in Women Affairs and Social Development, Honorable Kafila Togbara, during an interactive session with the Minister of Women Affairs, Barista Uju Kennedy, at the National Assembly Complex in Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. Honorable Kafilat emphasized that misappropriations of funds will not be tolerated by the committee and calls on the ministry to partner with the National Center for Women Development. We have to be in the picture so that we are sure that whatever is appropriated to the ministry is judiciously used to be impactful for Nigerians as a whole. So I want to commend you so far for everything you are doing and especially as regards um, the war for the prison, prisoners, the accounts and all that, I'm personally promising you that I'm going to move that as a motion on the floor of the House to ensure that, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the Controller General, you know, they yield to your request. It shouldn't take this long because what, what we are trying to do is to encourage women across board. Wherever they are, a woman is a woman, whether she's in prison, she's in the police force, she's wherever she is, a woman is a woman. And the empowerment of a woman is the empowerment of a woman in the creeks, is the empowerment of a woman in the city. So I like your initiative and I appreciate all your effort that you are even thinking outside the box to bring in new ideas, new ideology for our women. So we appreciate that a lot and we want to ask that members, the leadership of the ministry continue to cooperate with her, continue to advise her, you know she's new, and continue to guide her in the right path. But we will want you to carry the National Assembly along and all relevant stakeholders so that everybody is in the picture and you are not working alone. The Honorable Minister of Women Affairs, Barista Uju Kennedy, in her response says the ministry is campaigning for a more sustainable empowerment for women and tells the ministry has introduced farming and entrepreneurship for women to be independent. She also said the ministry is ready to partner with the committee in all its activities. Then we only we only went to the market to see how the women are suffering. Something like bitter leaf sellers. People from our side we eat a lot of bitter leaf, and it's a good market for them. But they suffer so much. You will see it on TV on the 28th day of my day, on my 100th day, where they are using hand for hours. You know, looking so malnourished, suffering so much to make the money. Now we took the company that could provide them with their machine to make it easier. And the machine is a part of what I would have wanted to show you, where this machine will not only drain the, the bitterness out of the, the, the bitter leaf, but it will probably compile the bitterness it has drained as a drink, because it's a very nutritious drink, and very, it helps in health challenges too, like the stomach upset and so many other little things. So these same women will not only now sell the uh, bitter leaf, they will probably be given machine to package the water and that water could we get people that will assess it and sell and they will make small extra money from it. Then we probably went into a uh, wear clothing. I'm actually coming from the center because we brought some machines there, put in the center more modernized machines to add to I, I thank my DG he's cooperating with me so well because all both of us are after is how to build the nation and get these women to do better so she's cooperating with me so much so including my directors like I mentioned earlier so I took the machines there today we rearranged a room. We rearranged a room and then we start the clothing. I'm going to provide them with funds to buy the materials. The chairman of the committee on her part in an interview with journalists says the Nigerian women make up to almost a half of the Nigerian population and cannot be underutilized. Once the women aspect is being covered, the country will be better for it. Nigerian women are close to half of the Nigerian population and we cannot afford to underutilize the potential of about half of our population in this country. So there's a need for the nation itself to see to the need to ensure that the budget 
of the Ministry of Women Affairs does not remain that status quo. Over the years, the budget of the Women Affairs Ministry has always been about the lowest in the country. And we are saying that Nigeria is poor, we want to you know, achieve the SDG goals, we want to achieve zero hunger, we want to achieve low poverty, we want to achieve eradication of poverty, we want to achieve gender equality. How can we achieve that when the funding is so low? She has come with a lot of ideas, new ideas, you know, thinking outside the box and all that. And we are very impressed about all that.